On a longer time scale, there is also the important role of forest play in moderating the amount of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. The equation is simple. The more carbon dioxide we release into the atmosphere, the hotter it's going to get. We are all seeing the consequences of this as the glaciers and polar ice caps melt, as the deserts expand, and as weather patterns shift all over the globe. It would be so much better if we could draw some of that excess carbon back out of the atmosphere. And that is where forests come in. The basic chemistry of life is based on carbon, molecules that consist of lengthy chains and rings of carbon atoms. The chemistry of life is complicated, but the bottom line is this. Where there is life, there is carbon. Lots and lots of carbon. Scientists like to use the term biomass to address this issue. It is a way of referring to the total weight of living things in any given area. And no living things have more biomass than trees. It is hard to wrap our heads around the enormous weight of any one of these trees. And it is even harder to contemplate the amount of living material, the amount of biomass, the amount of carbon in an entire forest. When a forest is cut down and the wood is burned or allowed to decay, the huge quantity of carbon that made up that living material is released, primarily as carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Conversely, when trees are allowed to grow, they take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere as they go about the process of assembling new rings and chains of carbon atoms that make up their growing structures, their active physiology. When growing trees take carbon out of the atmosphere in this way, climatologists say that that carbon has been sequestered. This means that it is stored in the biomass of the forest, rather than flowing freely as a greenhouse gas in the atmosphere. Have you heard the expression, plant a tree, save the earth? It is a good idea, but a better one is, protect a forest. It is not one or two trees that will bring our atmospheric carbon back into line but rather miles and miles of forest, hundreds of miles of forest.